Hi Pisces, this is your reading for the 24th to the 30th of April 2023. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late but I've not been very well and very busy with other things. Now today um, it is already uh, Taurus time, Mercury retrograde has come in so be careful of electrical and mechanical things and signing official documents. Also, we had the new moon in some hemispheres yesterday, like Australia, and the moon was eclipsed. It is a beautiful sight to see on video. I bet it is um, fantastic to see in real life. Okay, so we are, have the new moon. This is the first new moon since spring uh, equinox. So it's a very important moon as well. So definitely be aware of the energy because you are hypersensitive to the moon energy since you are, are represented in tarot by the moon card and the high priestess. So do listen to your intuition uh, today and the next couple of days uh, because the moon energy uh, will still be around two or three days after it has appeared. Now. Also be careful of the Mercury retrograde of electrical and mechanical things and signing official papers. Now you come in with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords represents a person, um, a lady, not a lady, but um, the, the status of the Queen. It can be a lady, but um, if you are a male or a man and watching this video, this could also be your feminine side that's coming out at the moment. Definitely also, she is career orientated. She represents institutions and municipalities. You could be dealing with authorities as we are in tax season as well until the end of April. In most countries, uh, tax um, um, has to be done by the end of April. Also, um, this could be Libra prominently, but don't forget Gemini or Aquarius. She also represents a single parent or a widow, as she's known as the widow in the tarot. Definitely career orientated, carrying the sword of justice, truth, transparency and clarity. So you could be in a judicial situation and she will defend you to, through thick and thin. She will cut straight through to the core and cut away the BS. She doesn't deal with people that are liars or gives BS um, as an excuse. No, she wants the truth and she will defend, like I said, with everything she's got and with the sword. She knows that the sword cuts both ways. So be careful um, in the next few weeks with Mercury retrograde. Also, um, this could be a, you could be meeting a single parent. You, um, you could, if you're looking for a partner in romance or business, so definitely a very sharp-minded person as well. Great in communication, she can sell ice cubes to Eskimos. So, you might need somebody to do the walking and the talking for you. Also, uh, we have the two of swords. The Two of Swords means that you might be ice, um, shut off and isolating yourself at this present moment as um, uh, uh, we have the Queen here um, and you might be afraid, you might be going through difficult times. So definitely you might be isolating yourself, closing your heart off your solar plex and your mind and even your vision. But the other side is if you are uh, closing yourself off and you are looking for a job or for a partner uh, if in life, whether it's romance or in business, then definitely open your mind to new ideas. This person, the Queen of Swords, would be great to deal or exchange ideas with, especially as she could be also an advisor because she's well learned, she's sharp minded. She could be a teacher as well because um, they are great communicators, presenters. Usually you find people that are an air sign, are authors, actors, poets, musicians, 
people that communicate through voice or other talents and gifts. Now, so open your mind to new ideas, take that blindfold out, off and come out to play. Let your inner child come out, don't be so serious. So open your heart and your solar plex and see what's happening around you, not just in front of you. There's more going on than you know. There's angels and ancestors and the divine is working behind the scenes, especially if you're trying to get to the truth of things. Okay. Now, we also have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is Aries. Um, so yes, we are leaving Aries behind and that fiery energy. So definitely you might be settling down now and, and coming out to play or doing the business, taking actions, making a plan of action and actually going into action. Perhaps that's why you might have taken time out to think about things, to make a bad plan and being strategic and now you're ready uh, to take that plan in action. If you're not meeting a fire sign, in particular Aries, then you could be taking a page out of his book. But I feel you've been trying to abide your time so uh, that you could take plans into action. But remember, if you're signing official papers, be careful of the Mercury retrograde. Don't go in blindfolded, okay? And don't let anybody pull the wool over your eyes either. That's why you need to open up and perhaps have an advisor. Also, we have um, the Four of Wands. The Queen of Swords could be um, the Justice of the Peace. This could be marriage, as we've got the marriage card here. But this can also be an advisor, like I said, an advocate or a notary public or a lawyer or an estate agent. The Four of Wands represents weddings. You could be getting married, but if you're not getting married, you could be invited to a wedding. Also, this can mean moving home, as the four corner four ones represents the four corners of a house. This means that you could be moving home, buying a home, renting a new home, uh, and holding a housewarming party. If this is not the case, then you could be invited to a party. If you are invited to a party or a gathering of celebration, then you could be meeting obviously new people, not only your friends, but you could also meet new people that could become a, a friend or a, a partner in the future. These relationships or friendships will be built on solid foundations, like the house is built on solid foundations. Also, you have the Page of Wands uh, Pisces. The Page of Wands is prominently Sagittarius, but don't forget Aries, and they're all already in your reading, and Leo. You could be meeting or dealing with one of them. You could be getting news from one of them. Also, it could be somebody younger, in particularly a child. It could be news about a child. Or you could be finding out that you're pregnant. If you get pregnant now, then in nine months uh, in nine months time, it could be a Sagittarius. Perhaps that is why he came out. Definitely news on taking action and being strategic and planning. Perhaps this is news on your plans if you asked for a second opinion from somebody else. Now let's see what the postcard um, says for you. We've got two cents and, um, and got the a beautiful little uh, child there um, on the stamp and celebrate life. So that is really relating to the two of sorts. Celebrate life. Take that blindfold off. Come out to play. Let your inner child come out. Dear you, uncertainty is the new norm, normal for the whole world. Things are changing at a rapid pace and the old ways we once trusted are no longer reliable. But leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing when you are pushed to step into the unknown. 
you are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have been hidden in plain sight. Check in your higher power. Your soul knows better than you, small self. Have faith in the support of higher power and the infinite potential for your life. Right now, the advice we have for you is this. Try something new, something different. You won't know how it feels, when it looks like, what it looks like, or what the outcome uh, what the outcome will be if you do not take the first step into the unknown and experience the unfamiliarity you'll be so glad you did because the treasure will appear we are so proud of you for being brave you are so loved and so supported know that and well that's the message for this week, my darlings. Now I'm going to the extended for paying members. I would like to thank you for your loyalty, your thumbs up and shares and likes. I hope to see you in the next video, if not in the live. Take care. Bye-bye.